The SPAC is back after a combination with Nabor's energy acquisition. Vast Solar is now publicly traded. Let's get acquainted with the business with the CEO joining us, Craig Wood. Runs Vast and uh, Australia-based. Craig, uh, thanks for joining the Schwab Network and congratulations on the debut. Thanks very much for having us on, Oliver. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a big day for us. Uh, an overnight success that's been 14 years in the making. Yeah, well, so tell us about your business, uh, how you started and how you got here. Yeah, sure. So um, what we do is, at its core, concentrating solar thermal. So we use mirrors uh, that follow the sun, they track the sun in two directions, and we capture the sun's energy and we store that in the form of heat. Um, heat is a really efficient way of storing energy. Uh, and it allows us to create dispatchable electricity as well as um, we can use the heat directly. And that combination of power and heat is particularly interesting when you look at green fuels opportunities. Um, CSP, the core technology has been around for about 40 years, um, originally pioneered in the US. Uh, but what we've done is essentially created version three of the technology um, uh, by, by tweaking the front end of the system to allow us to produce uh, lower cost, higher performance, and lower risk energy. Um, mm. The journey's been an interesting one. We've developed the tech over really about the first uh, 10 years in business. And then the last three or four years, we've been developing a series of projects down here in Australia. Uh, those projects, we're working our way towards financial close. And really, uh, the listing is um, the next step in allowing us to secure the capital, both for those projects as well as on an ongoing basis um, to allow us to continue to grow and develop the business. Okay, uh, so right now, the do you, can we shorthand call them panels? Do, you, do we describe them as panels? Is that the right term to use? Uh, the, the right term technically is a heliostat, uh, but you can call them a mirror. That's the other a mirror. thing. It's, it's, a, it's kind of like a sophisticated version of what you've got in your bathroom. Okay, so, all right, so, uh, what, so a concave mirror, or, so uh, it's capturing the sun and yeah, absorbing so all that energy. Concave underneath? mirror, so if you, if, if you recall as a kid, you might have had a magnifying glass yep. and you might have used that to burn some molten leaves. We're sort of doing the same thing on an industrial scale. So we're using concave mirrors to capture and, and focus the energy um, on top of the towers. You can see them on screen there. Um, and we get, gather that energy and store it as heat. And it's a, the storage is heat, which is really important. It's quite different from storing as chemical energy, which you would do if you were talking about lithium ion or other battery technologies. Fascinating. I imagine that uh, your guys' staff probably have some pretty powerful sunglasses out there. Uh, Craig, so when you said tweak the front end, can you come back to that for a second? We can get a little science-y here for a second. What's the, the, the patent or the value add, I guess, that is it just that structure, that mirror you just talked about? No, it's a little bit more than that. So um, I mentioned a moment ago that CSP has been around for many decades. Right. Um, there, there's been really sort of two versions of the technology that have become popular. One is called parabolic troughs. Um, there's, there's actually some examples in the US, but um, markets like Spain in particular have become very, um, you know, there's significant deployment, about six and a half gigawatts in, um, around the world. Parabolic troughs, what they're doing, as the name suggests, it's a, a trough shaped uh, mirror. Um, and it's it's focusing the energy on a line system. Um, and so that those systems, they're very predictable, very bankable, um, but the temperatures don't get high enough, and so the energy ends up being relatively expensive. Mm -hmm. um, what people tried to do about 10, 15 years ago was move to what are called power tower systems. Um, again, using the US examples, um, there's a, a couple on the West Coast, uh, one plant called um, Ivanpah uses, there's, there's actually three towers that are co-located. Um, and that's a that's a steam system. Uh, the, the most recent plant built in the US was a plant called Crescent Dunes, um, which tried to use molten salt, the storage medium, um, up the top of the tower as well. Um, those power towers, uh, they look great in movies, um, but unfortunately they have been um, relatively expensive and they've proven to be quite uh, unreliable. Mm. And so what we've essentially done is taken the tower concept, which allows us to get to nice high temperatures, um, but we've shrunk it down um, and made it modular, and then we link the towers together through the use of um, a, a, a heat transfer fluid. Um, and in our case, we've chosen to use liquid sodium metal. Fascinating. Um, so, yeah, so sodium's, sodium's an interesting choice. It's actually been used in the global nuclear industry for more than seven decades. Um, and we just recently announced that um, Electricity de France, who obviously run the French nuclear fleet, um, uh, their Australian business has actually come into Vast as a partner, um, which is which is a terrific validation of the choice that we've made to use um, sodium 
as a core part of that technology. Okay. So now as you want to bring the tech to the rest of the world, you've pioneered it, you've got it built in Australia, you said you wanted to use the funds from this listing uh, to get those projects fully underway. Is there a competitive element that will be difficult to get across, kind of like the preconceived thinking of the Western world and how we do solar, or do you think that the U.S. is a market that you'll be able to break into? Look, it's, it's an interesting question. There's almost two parts to the answer. So um, in many respects, as the decarbonisation journey that we're all on continues, it's really only after you've filled your boots full of lots of PV and lots of wind and lots of batteries that you realise that there's this thing called night time. Um, and that's, you know, in sunny markets, that's the core value proposition of CSP. Um, so there's a, there's a market acceptance or a market maturation that's actually going on in sunny places all around the world, yeah. Australia, the US um, and, and in all other markets. Um, that, is, that is coming um, and it's coming quite quickly. Obviously, it depends where you are as to how quickly. Um, the other part of it that's, that is uh, interesting in particular in the US is um, the ability to leverage the Inflation Reduction Act. And so the, um, mm. the way in which that, um, that policy is uh, structured to support um, technologies like ours uh, is, is actually really quite advantageous. And so um, when, you know, as an Australian company, we're looking at the US and we're seeing a very big potential market um, with really significant mm. incentives in place. Um, both on sure. the power side, but also importantly on the green fuel side through the um, through the hydrogen credit as well. So, look, we're we're, we're really excited. Um, obviously, an Australian company, we we know the market down here inside out. Um, we're still getting to know the US market, but um, the US is certainly target number two. Um, and then the other one that we're focused on, as we've previously announced, is um, is the Saudi market, where again we see really significant opportunities, mm. um, and that's in part where our partnership with Neighbours comes into play as well. Yeah, big uh, transition happening there from the Saudis as well, trying to. Uh, so great introduction to the tech and the science. We'll talk more about the finances next time. You guys got a nice uh, shot of liquidity there, so we'll be keeping our eyes on the business. Thanks, Craig, for your time. Thanks very much, Oliver. Great to talk. Absolutely. Craig Wood, CEO at VAST, ticker VSTE after the combo.